would go into stakes and takes. So we're going to recap a little bit of last week's uh, bets and picks, go into that briefly. And then we're going to just, uh, we're going to jump right into this week's bets and our upsets. I, uh, I got a couple of good things going. What you, what'd you do last week? How'd you go overall? So UFC, we picked five fights, one of them didn't happen. So of the four that did happen, I went 4-0 undefeated. God damn it. I went 3-1. and one. What'd you get wrong? Colby Covington. Yeah, of course you got that one wrong. To, Tomas. To win the welterweight title. I thought he was going to... I don't have to explain myself. I lost. NFL, how'd you do? NFL? So we picked 10 games last week? 10 games. So I went 6-4, and four, so not the worst. Over 500, not the best, though. Um, I went 6-4, and four too. I think we went 6-4 and four different ways. Yeah, I had the Broncos, which was wrong. Obviously, they lost. I had the Packers, lost. Bears, lost. Eagles lost. And the Eagles lost. I had the Bears as well. I had the Packers as well. But I ha- and the Eagles as well. But I threw in a wild so we just card. Had one different one. Yeah, I guess that was that would have been easier to say. I threw in a wild card of the Cowboys being wrong as well. I threw the wild card of the Bills being right, and I got it right. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, when you have one that can go either way, you're, you're one of us is gonna get it. Right. Thank God for the Bills. I guess they made the whole week. God save the Bills, something like that. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty good, pretty good week for both of us. I went nine and five. You went ten and four. What about bets for last week? How'd you do? What'd you, what about your stakes? What did you stake? And how did you do it? So bets, I went four and one. I got one bet wrong. Holy Jesus! And it was the goddamn Philadelphia Eagles blowing that game against the Seahawks, which we covered earlier. Look, that happens every every now and again. Um, I, I can't really complain because I didn't do any better. I went two and three. I got Covington wrong. I got the Packers wrong. I got the Cowboys wrong. And I got my upset wrong. It, it happens. It, it happens. I'm going to do better. I'm going to have better research this week. This week, I think I'm going to rebound hard. I didn't overthink a single thing. I went with my gut for all five and my upset. But... Let's kick it off because we have college football playoffs. I'm only picking one of the two. I'm picking both of them. For uh, January 1st. I'm picking both. Um, All right. So you want to go first? Yeah, I'll give you my two. I know we have two opposite picks. Yeah, we do do have two opposite picks. So I guess I'd know both of yours. I'm going Bama Moneyline plus 102, Texas Moneyline minus 185. And I'm going Michigan with that big Michael Penix Jr. energy. It's not Michael Penix. He's Washington. I know. I'm just fucking around at this point. I'm going Michigan, J.J. McCarthy, killing it against Alabama. Got to get, you know, to the to the finals. I think that's that's where they're going, the college football it's a championship. Rematch in the finals, Bama, Texas. You think it's a rematch? That'd be an interesting one. Um, from there, I think I just have four NFL. You have three, right? I got three NFL. All right. I got Bengals money line. I think Jake Browning is going to continue to kind of prove – that he can fight against adversity. And the team around him is also helping uplift him, seeing that, you know, he's he's trying to you know, keep them in a playoff spot. Next, I go with the Lions money line. Surprising in the NFL so far. That, like, not so far. It's pretty deep into the season. But they're like a, a very good team this late into the season, which is surprising to me. I think they're going to pull off another win. Minus 176 money line there. Brown's money line. I think they're going to pull it off. Flacco, I think, is, you know, proving what the offense needs after, like, their fourth quarterback of the year with Deshaun go- going out. And then the Bucks beating the Jags. Money line minus 108, I believe the line is. I just need the Bucks to beat the Jags so the Colts can have a playoff spot, to be honest. That's funny because I got none of those. Good, that actually helps. Kansas City Chiefs money line. I think they find a way to win. They beat the Raiders, a better team. Minus 4-7, that's my biggest favorite. Find a way to win. That's a weird thing to say about a team that 100% should win. Not necessarily. You just think they should win because of Patrick Mahomes. Doesn't mean the team's as good. That's we just true. talked about with Brock Purdy. That's a team game. That's true, that's true. But then I got in a... The Dallas Cowboys money line plus one and two. I think in the opposite way is the Chiefs figure out when ways to game. The Cowboys are sometimes labeled as they don't. 
I think this is a game they proved that wrong. Like after a non-clutch a bad scenario is what they're faced with typically. I think this is a big win because if they come out and win this game, I think they gain all the confidence back and can just say, hey, that was a bad game, but we're going to rebound. Against the I, think Dolphins. I think a lot of things about how you rebound for sure. And I think the Cowboys are going to be able to respond to that. And then I think the 49ers money line minus 230. I think in a game where we said it's probably the two best teams in the NFL, they're going to rise to the occasion. Christmas night, literally every person in America is maybe watching this game. That'd be a great present to have a Brock Purdy like win. It would be off. a great present present and i got the san francisco 49ers so. gotta come up with a pun for that one at some point yeah i like all these bets i think it's gonna be an interesting did you say your upset of the week uh did not uh my upset of the week is washington money line the, the commanders no the huskies washington huskies oh so you're going with one of your, your one picks. one of my picks i'm going with the Tried and true, I'm not going to... Now, this time, I'm not joking around. I'm not going to doubt the big Pendix energy. I think... I think they have what it takes to beat Texas. I really do. I got the New Orleans Saints money line. Plus 165. I think they, in a must-win game, really. Yeah, in a playoff... Very tight playoff contention. I think they get it done. Yeah, and... I, I don't disagree. They really need that kind of that push if they're going to make any kind of playoff You don't disagree, runs. but you literally disagree. No, no, I don't disagree that they need that, I'm saying. I gotcha. disagree with, with what you're saying, for sure. I don't think they're winning against the Rams this week. Well, on that note, thank you for listening to this episode of Split Decision, and thank you for listening for 2023. Check us out in a couple weeks. We're actually going to take a week off. Woo! With the UFC off, uh, holidays coming up. I think it's a good time for us to take a week off. Come back in the new year. Get ready for the new UFC card. Get ready for the college football championship game. Get ready for NFL playoffs. A lot of big things coming. So I guess check us out in 2024 when we recap the college football semifinals and we look ahead to the college football finals, college football championship to see who's better.